Hey, God, we got a problem. Oh? I'm very interested to know what the problem is so that I, as the omnipotent, supremely benevolent creator of the universe, can employ my considerable power and wisdom to resolve it. Oh? Well, okay, come on down. You see, your chosen people, the Israelites, are having difficulty in the wilderness. They're very dehydrated, uh, they yearn for water, and uh, frankly, they miss food with actual taste. I see, I see. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, Jeffrey. So, you're gonna help them? Yes. I know exactly what they need. Uh, food? And water? Nope. Venomous snakes! Uh, anybody else thirsty or hungry? Can I take your order, please? You want flies with that? Thank ye, thank ye, ye are too kind, folks. As you know, a giant caravan has come up out of Egypt and has trekked, or as I like to call it, walked, all the way to our border, camping all along the Rio Jordan. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's not good. It's not good, folks. Haven't I said that? You've had me say that. A lot of people are saying Egypt is not sending their best. It's an invasion, folks. And we gotta get tough. We gotta get tough with these people. Believe me. Believe me. And I'm not, I'm not gonna have our troops tied up in some expensive war in the desert for years and years. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, folks. Believe me. So, as you know, only the best, only the best people work for me. The best. So, I'm sending Balaam to put a curse on them. Nobody uses curses better than Balaam. Nobody. Nobody. And if this Moses guy wants to start trouble, and he really is a terrorist, folks. He really is. As I, he's a terrorist, folks. Or, or as I like to call him, Little Tablet Man. Little Tablet Man, I call him. If he really wants to start trouble, then Balaam is going to put a curse on them so bad. So bad. A curse like nobody's ever seen before. A curse so bad that it's going to put them all the way back into the Stone Age. Believe me. You've heard me say that. Haven't I said that? But, sir, the Stone Age was only like two weeks ago. Rudy. Yes, sir. You're fired. Hello, and welcome to Balaam's Mystic Emporium and Fruit Stand. Can I take your order, please? Oh, great Balaam. King Balak would like thou to have this bag of money. Really? What's the catch? There is no catch. No quid pro quo. Sweet. Uh, King Balak would like thou to do him a favor, though. Oh? Ah, uh, yes. He would like thou to come back with us and put a curse on the Israelites who have appeared at our border. Because King Balak knows thou hath God's favor. And whatever thou curse is cursed, and whatever thou bless is blessed. The Israelites? Huh. That is a bit of a special order. Stay right here while I go and talk to God. I'll be right back. Um... God? Sup? Hey! 
God. Um, I've, um, got a favor to ask thee. Oh? Say, uh, by the way, who are those men with you? Your God. Shouldn't you already know? Uh, those are King Balak's people, a very fine people, and they're scared of all the Israelites who have appeared at their border. So they want me to go back with them and get thee to put a curse on the Israelites. Very simple. Why would anyone have to go anywhere? God is omnipresent. Sorry, but no can do. The Israelites are blessed. Blessed? You, you, you just killed a shitload of them with venomous snakes because they yearned for food and water, parent of the year. Yeah, so? That doesn't mean they're not blessed. Have you attacked any non-blessed civilizations with a swarm of venomous snakes lately? Well, no. Then if it's all the same to you, I'd rather not be blessed. Thanks. Balaam, no can do. Do not go back with those people, you hear me? The creator of the entire universe, all-powerful and extremely cranky, is telling you not to go with those men. You are not to put a curse on Israel, and that is final. If anybody is going to mess with them, it's going to be me. Got it? I understand 100%. I shalt do exactly as thou sayest, my lord. Let it be known that I, Balaam, am not deviating from God's instruction in any way whatsoever. Okay? Uh, yeah, I heard you loud and clear. You are going to do exactly what I say, and I know you are, because I naturally know everything. Um, sir, pardon the intrusion, but Balaam says the omnipotent creator of the universe will not let him come over and curse the Israelites. That god fellow is a tough negotiator, believe me, but nobody makes deals like I do. I'm the best negotiator throughout all of history. The best, believe me. King Balek sends a message via this tweet insisting that thou curse the Israelites. Oh look, he could give me all the money in the world and it would not change my answer because I must obey God 100% which is exactly what I did. But stay right here and I'll go double check with God. Cool? Um. God? They're back. Alright, looky here. Go ahead and go with them, okay? But only do what I tell you to do. Cool? Really? I mean, last time you told him not to go with them, and nothing's really changed since then. Yeah, so? So, God Almighty changed his mind? Interesting. Doesn't really jive well with the whole omniscient thing. Uh, no, 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 I, I did not change my mind. Uh, uh, uh this was always a, a part of my plan. Who are those people? No, don't go. I mean, yes, okay, go. Sure, totally omniscient. Jeffrey, I did not change my mind, okay? I just decided to alter my course of action from what I previously intended to do. Oh my god. Okay. I'll go with you. Really? The creator of the universe told you to come after all? He no longer forbids it? Right. I guess he changed his mind. Let's go. That son of a bitch is actually going? I'll kill him! But you just told him to go! And to do exactly what you say, which was to go! 
Jeffrey, he should know that telling him to do exactly what I tell him to do does not mean to do exactly what I tell him to do. Um, okay, so, uh, what now? Here. Go chop his head off. What? You heard me. That son of a bitch did exactly what I told him to do after I told him to do exactly what I told him to do. So he deserves to die now. <sighs> and be sure to wear your hitman clothes, Jeff Wick. Fine. Oh, and uh, make sure to use your predator cloak so he can't see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What the hell art thou doing, thou fool? I want thou to go that way. Ow! What the hell? Here we go again! I said, God damn, man, get the hell off me, jackass! What I ever, what I ever do to thee, huh? Thou hast made the fool out of me, that's what! Too bad I do not have my sword right now, or I'd kill thee! Man, I'm thine donkey, thou know me, my man! Thou hast been riding around on me for years, and hath I ever done anything like this to thee before? Um... Well, no. No. So guess why I did it today, jackass? Take a gander over there at that angel holding that big ass sword. Kinda weird how that donkey never talked before, but then when it started talking inexplicably, uh, Balaam thought so little of it that he started arguing with the damn thing. Jeffrey, I made the donkey talk. So you were talking out of your ass? Look. It's not just about the talking donkey, it's also about how unrealistic Balaam's reaction was. So what? So, this story is obvious bullshit, that's what. <laughs> Trust me, Jeffrey, that won't matter at all. Uh-huh. So, did you know the donkey was going to stop him from being killed? Oh, uh, yeah. Then why did you send me to kill him? To teach him a lesson? What lesson? That if he obeys God, God will pretend like he's going to kill him, but is sure not to kill him because he also knew the donkey would prevent it? I mean, no, no, I, I did not uh, mean for the donkey to do that. So, God was thwarted by a donkey? I mean, I mean yeah, I, I, I knew the donkey, I mean, yes and no, May maybe, but- Hey, are you done baiting your donkey, dipshit? If the damn donkey had not turned away from me, I was supposed to lop your head off. Did you know that? Orders from the big man himself. And uh, I don't really appreciate you putting me in this position because if I do what God tells me to do, he's liable to kill me, which is also usually what he does when you don't do what he tells you to do. So I'd really appreciate it if you'd stop causing God to tell me to do stuff. Uh, I never said I would not not kill him. I'm so, so sorry. I, I did not mean to displease the big man. I'll turn around and go back immediately, uh, just as the big man desires. No, no. Uh, tell him to go on ahead. It's cool. Balaam, go on ahead. Oh, wow. What? First, you tell him not to go. Then, you tell him to go. Then, you tell me to kill him because he's going. And now, you're telling him to go? This is the third time you've changed your damn mind. Jeffrey, just because he did exactly what I told him to do after I told him to do it, and then did exactly what I told him to do after that, and then narrowly avoided being killed by me for doing exactly what I told him to do after I told him to do exactly what I told him to do, it does not mean that he shouldn't still go ahead and do the exact thing I told him to do. 
You sound like my ex-wife. Tremendous! Thou hath finally come! Truly! It is a great, great honor uh, to finally meet me. This is a historic meeting, believe me. But I gotta say, I didn't like getting turned down before. Not gonna lie, didn't like it. So we're off to a rough start. Gotta tell thee, it's a rough start. Real rough start. I've always said, King Balak <laughs> is used to getting his way. Haven't I always said that? Well, I have come to see thee now just as thou wanted. But be forewarned that I am only allowed to say what God wants me to say. Not really into that whole freedom of speech thing, huh? The what of speech? Speak English. So, like a puppet? Little puppet man? It's like I'm talking to God right now. I suppose. Tremendous, tremendous. Here, have some cattle and some sheep. <clears throat> oh, well, well, thank you, but... We'll sacrifice them together, like the good old days. Thou know, <clears throat> that's what they used to do back in the good old days. Believe me, they didn't mess around. Oh, maybe better not. Uh, thou see, God got mad on the road when I... Merely hit my donkey with my staff and... Oh, uh, okay. Nobody ever knew a cow's head could come off so easily. Never knew it. Okay, um, go ahead and sacrifice thine cattle over here. But stay over here. I am going to go way over there on that hill. Um, far out of the way where nobody can see or hear. And maybe God will meet me over there. Far away. Very far away. Can I come with thee? Uh, no, no. Um, I have to be totally alone when God appears. Uh, I I'll let thou know what he says. Oh, okay. Uh, I gotta say... Uh, that's totally not suspicious at all. Uh, okay, God. I'm here. Uh, we aren't sacrificing animals for thee. Uh, the others can't see thee, so I, I think thou can come out now. Cool. Here's what I want you to tell him. Okay. The creator of the universe showed up on that hill over there, where nobody can see, and he had a chat with me, uh, in person. Uh, here's what he told me uh, to explicitly tell thee. Tremendous! Thou art like a glorified middleman. Little middleman, man. All uh, right. So, uh, God told me to say, um, how can I, Balaam, Curse those whom God has not cursed. How can I denounce those who God has not denounced? Oh, so attacking them with venomous snakes is not cursing or denouncing them? Nope. Curse. A solemn utterance intended to invoke a supernatural power to inflict harm or punishment on someone or something. Okay, but... Denounce. Publicly declare to be wrong or evil. Yeah, but... Synonyms. Condemn. Criticize. Attack. Jeffrey. Censure. Castigate. Jeffrey. Decry. Revile. Is there anything under curse or denounce about venomous snakes? Well, no. BAM! Okay. I just now came up with a new plan. It's a beautiful plan, believe me. Instead of talking to the creator of the universe on that hill over there, why don't thee talk to them on that other hill over there? Thou want me to switch hills? My idea, don't plagiarize. Genius, right? Everybody's saying it's a genius plan. Okay. Um, I'll go ask God on that other hill. Uh, wait right here, where thou cannot see or hear, and I'll go ask him over there. Again, 
kinda suspicious, but I'll believe thee. Believe me. Uh, uh, uh God. God. It's me again. Let me guess. Balak still wants me to curse the Israelites. Of course. Not omniscient, my left ass cheek. Okay. Be sure to tell him exactly this. Well, little middle man, man, what did the creator of the universe have to say? He said, I, God, am not a human, and therefore, I do not change my mind. Except for those three times you just changed your mind about the meeting they're in right now. Shut up! God says, there are no evil omens against Israel. They literally have to carry around a snake altar made out of bronze that magically cures anyone who happens to be bitten by a snake. You sent after them because they pissed you off. <laughs> good times, good times. Uh, God also says there is no misery observed in Israel. Remember when they were starving? Uh-huh. And dehydrated? Yeah. Right before the venomous snakes killed a bunch of them? Yep. And now they've been at war ever since? Uh-huh. Totally. No misery, though. Nope. The creator of the universe told me to bless them, so I am doing exactly what he says, and I am blessing them. Which may or may not cause me to be killed by an angel with a sword. I can see thou art. A tough negotiator, one of the toughest throughout all of history, believe me, but I think we can make a deal. How about this? <laughs> Don't curse them, okay? And here's the tricky part, it really is the tricky part, but don't bless them either. How about that? It's a good deal, good deal. I am sorry, but I have to do what God tells me to do. So they are as blessed as if they all simultaneously sneezed right now. Thou art one tough SOB. I've always said that. Haven't I always said that? Um, no. I've always said that. Okay. New deal. I've got a new deal. And it's going to be big. And it's going to be bold. And it's going to be beautiful. Believe me. It's never been done in the history of our great nation. But I'm gonna be the one to finally do it. Because only I can believe me. This will be the greatest plan in the history of plans. And it will be such a good deal that the creator of the universe will definitely agree. He can't refuse because it's gonna be so good. So good for him too. Believe me, so good. Everybody wins. We've been treated so unfairly, but no more, because I've got the greatest deal in the history of deals. Ah, uh, what's the bloody deal already? Okay, here it is. This time, try talking to God on that other hill over there. <laughs> Yeah, sure, why not? That dark matter is the most handsome and intelligent person I've ever seen 
throughout all of history. Believe me. Donald? Donald? Oh my god. Daddy is... Bernie. I'll give him that. Not now. Oh. I'm trying to talk to the people. I can appreciate that, Donald. But, but, there's more important things. Crazy Bernie. There's nothing more important than dark matter. True, true. I absolutely agree. Which is why I think it's imperative that dark matter gets way more patrons and subscribe star people supporting him. Okay, here we go with the socialism. A greedy corporation demonetized much of his hard work, so he has to rely on a grassroots movement from the people now. Animation is actually a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Nobody ever knew how much work animation is. Believe me, nobody knew. Nobody knew it. 